So originally I was going to wait, but I decided, you know what, let's tell the story now. I would like to tell you all about the buttermilk incident. One day, a long, long time ago, when I was a little bun, it was summer, summer vacation. And the family was, you know, staying together in the same house. Extended family, because this was before I got exiled. It was early in the morning, but most of the family had gone out to go shopping or something. I don't really remember. What I do remember was it was a nice day, cartoons were on, and I was going to get some cereal. Captain Crunch. Love that cereal. It's so good. I get my bowl. I get the cereal. I grab the milk. Cartoons are playing. Scooby-Doo is trying to get some extra snacks out of uh, Thelma and Daphne. It's going to be a good day. The cereal is poured. I pour the milk. I go to take a spoonful, take that first bite, and something's wrong. It's disgusting. It is absolutely awful. But the milk didn't look bad. It didn't have any particularly bad smell, but it tasted sour and very clearly like something had gone totally wrong. Now, my family doesn't like to waste things. And I knew if I got caught throwing away an entire bowl of cereal with milk, I was going to get questioned. But luckily for me, my uncle was still around. So I go, hey, uncle, um, this cereal is fine, but the milk is no good. And he's like, really? I thought that that was a new carton of milk. Yeah, here. And I'm like, here, try it for yourself. And he takes a spoonful and he almost spat it all over the place. It was kind of funny. And he was like, oh, yeah, this milk is absolutely no good. And then with... Uh, an additional witness, I proceed to pour the milk down the drain and throw the cereal away because it's no good. It's gross. It's nasty. Then we take the rest of the milk from the carton and we pour it down the drain. Now, if you were paying attention to the name of the story, you already know that what I, the mistake that I made was instead of using regular milk, I accidentally poured myself a bowl of cereal with buttered milk. But at the time, I didn't know what butter and milk even was. I had never heard of it. And the only way I would have known the difference between the regular milk and the buttered milk is the very, very, very small text. Other than that, both of the cartons look exactly the same. And they were sitting next to each other, so... It was a 50-50 chance that this happened. But the story doesn't end there. Some time passes, and I've kind of given up on breakfast at this point. Everybody else comes back from doing whatever they were doing, and my grandma starts getting ready to cook. She opens up the refrigerator and gets some ingredients out. And she goes, wait a second. What happened to the other container that was on the shelf in the refrigerator? And me, being a plucky young bun, I go, oh yeah, Grandma, don't worry, we totally got rid of that old milk, it was no good. And she goes, you poured out my buttermilk? Why did you pour it out? It was, there was nothing wrong with that milk. And I was like, wait a second. What the heck is buttered milk? She then explains to me that buttered milk is um, different than regular milk. I fought the urge to say, duh, but it's primarily used for cooking, even though, for whatever reason, she sometimes drinks it straight and does some other things that I don't quite understand with it. But she's upset that we poured out the buttermilk because she was going to use it to cook and has to go out to get some more. It didn't take her very long, but ever since then, I've been very, very cautious when it comes to milk. Not only do I do the smell check, I also like, I, I, 
I, I'm like a I'm like a scientist with PTSD. I'm like I'll pour a little bit into like a little shot glass and I'll sip it. Does it taste okay? Is it safe? Is it contaminated? Um, and not just with milk that you buy from like the grocery store. Whenever we got milk cartons at school, I was always like, what if there's something wrong with this stuff? But yeah, that is the buttermilk story. Have you ever accidentally poured something into your cereal that wasn't supposed to be there? If so, let me know down in the comments below. Do you have any other stories of accidentally using the wrong ingredient and messing something up? Those are never fun in the moment, but they do make for interesting stories. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in another video.